I am going to try to kill my first bird with a bow today and I'm using the quiet cat today because I'll be solo filming. I mean obviously the bike's wicked cool, still testing it out. Easy. Got the trailer with all the gear today so I get to sneak in there as soon as I can. Try to get under these birds that are usually roosted in the same spot and uh, see if we can't capitalize again. So we've got a two hour drive. We're gonna get down here, try to set up, call them in and uh, see if I can't shoot one with the bow today. Here we go. So here's kind of what's been going on. I've been playing with this Tom back and forth. I think he's like in his strutting zone, which is like all of 100 yards. He's gobbling back and forth, gobbling back and forth. I can't seem to draw him in. So I just stopped calling for a little bit just to see if that would work. He's still, he's still right down here in those bottom. But now I've got a Tom that seems to be crossing the field up above. This time will not see my decoys until it gets almost all the way across the field, so I gotta keep calling to it. I'm hoping that helps draw him in. I don't know. Either way, I'm taking a Jake or a Tom. Who's ever dumb enough to come to my decoy? This decoy is literally about four yards from, from the end of the blind, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't think I'm gonna change setups. I think I'm just gonna stick right here and wait till they come to the field and see my decoy. So we'll see. I don't know, hopefully it works. You know, I know they go through here all the time, so I'm just gonna sit here and, and wait it out. I'm not I'm not gonna move anywhere else. Originally I wasn't planning on moving, but the neighbor just came out to Moe's driveway and that was directly between where that gobbler was gobbling and and me, so uh, I just got the quiet cat packed up. It's 8.45, so I'm gonna go to the other side and uh, see if I can't strike something up over there.
spot used to be pretty good for turkeys. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen a whole lot of them in a while, but I rode the quiet kid up right here, called, and uh, first call, I had, had one cut me off, so backed up a little bit, set the decoys up, came around the back side of this hedgerow, set up the uh, the rhino blind, and he's still, he's still gobbling to me, so we'll see. I don't know, hopefully we get a shot at him. All right, so new game plan. <clears throat> I've got two hours left, it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna pack this stuff up, put it on the quiet cat. I'm gonna head over to where I think those turkeys were heading. Uh, I'm gonna call, and then wherever they gobble, I'm gonna try to close the distance in by half. Uh, I'm gonna leave the blind, I'm gonna leave the decoys. I'm just going the way that I used to hunt with my father, sit by a tree um, and try to get it done. Sad thing is I'm gonna try to do this with the bow, so I don't know how well it's gonna work out, but I'm gonna try to leave everything in the quiet cat and get in there and uh, close the distance, try to get this done, so. We'll pack up here, try to get out of here in five minutes, and then uh, get over there and see what we can do. I uh, just got back to the truck. That pretty much does it for Maryland for me. I just drove around the farm everywhere, and uh, I, I saw one turkey, saw a handful of deer. Um, it's just tough later in the afternoon. They're not really as vocal, you know, like off the roof. So I just drive around. Do I set the decoys up and sit and wait, or do I go home? Spend a little bit of time with my wife and kid and uh, you know, take care of the dog, get some stuff done that I need to do. So that's, a, that's the route I'm gonna take. I head to Boston tomorrow for a few days and then uh, it's Pennsylvania opener. So I think I'm done for Maryland for the year. I was able to, uh, to harvest one at least, which was a good time. Um, but outside of that, I think, uh, I think it's Pennsylvania and then shortly after that heading to New York. So turkey tour is not over. I'm, I'm extremely exhausted. Um, but definitely a break for me. Hopefully the other guys uh, can capitalize while I'm uh, away from the state. So we'll see.